Hey, hey Brian, okay, how are you? Uh, good, yeah. Javier, right? Yes, Javier, Javier, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks for taking the time to meet. Uh, where are you? I'm, I'm in Chicago, man. I'm a coach and trainer in Chicago. So since, uh, you know, I mean, you, you, you message me, I kind of rather have you explain to me how this works and, you know, and see if it's something that, you know, it's possible to do it. You know, I know that Jim Lawyer is phenomenal. You know, yes. so he created this, you know, there is a reason for it. But, you know, again, I think I've seen um, apps or something about, you know, advertisement about the, this, but I never really take a look at it. So, well, explain to me, I guess, you know, take it take it away. Tell me how, how it is and how does it work, you know? Yeah, I would love to. Um, let me just... Uh share my screen and kind of show you if yeah, you can allow yeah. okay good right, stuff so, here um so now let me just show you what we have yeah, yeah. here so so this is the app yeah um so you know when you go through the uh, the onboarding process we ask you like important questions to kind of get you understand you know, your personal needs and um, help users to understand their, the importance of mental skills. And then based on those answers, we create these daily recommendations, but you can always update these daily recommendations. And it's a design to use in a way that you can do it more with isolated approach means that like, you know, you're really struggling with the, something like confidence or, or dealing with adversity or, you know, expectations. Um, and you may just decide that I want to just learn how to manage expectations only then you may okay. just focus on that for like one week or you may take a more of a broader approach and say okay i want to work on different elements different aspects of mental game and just kind of expand my game to expand my knowledge because it's you know when you're listening to many different things you're just kind of maintaining and expanding your knowledge but you're not really isolating on one approach so you can use it in in one or the other isolated or broad approach so let's okay. say I'm going to do more of a broad approach. I want to, you know, work on these different things. Yeah. And then he also gives you a recommendation on the personal growth, uh, the mental well-being, because, you know, mental well-being and the and the mental performance are directly correlated. You know, stronger your characters are, uh, okay. better you're going to perform. And okay. then, you know, healthier you're mentally are, then, then, you know, better you're going to perform. So let's say that I want to work on, like, being grateful, humility, self-discipline, and when I make these updates, then now it gives me this recommendation based on what I chose. So gratitude, okay. humility, okay, you know, self-discipline. Okay. So that I can choose to engage in this type of exercises. Oh, so these are exercises, basically. You're not talking to somebody. No, no. So okay. this is an app, you know, it's a it's just a so it's a it's all, you know. So let's let's assume that I want to um you know, work on dealing with the adversity. And uh, then you have two different options. You can do a short audio, like an intro audio to understand the whole concept, okay. which is very easy to consume. Like you can do this while you're driving, walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super easy. Or the, the, the first one is more beneficial because it's a visualization. Mm -hmm. You actually close your eyes and you find a quiet place and do it. Okay. It's more rigid and difficult but it's more beneficial so it gives you know the flexibility for users to be able to use it however the way they want to use it because before we only had the visualizations okay. which we learned that you know the, the the retention is lower because it's a um, because it's rigid and it's too tough to use people see the benefit of it but they had a hard time keeping it up and staying consistent so okay. we added this flexibility so let's say we're going to listen to this here real quick. Yeah. The old business adage, plan for the best and prepare for the worst, also applies to tennis matches. No one steps on the court planning to not play well. We devote our efforts to playing the best we can. However, if you don't prepare for adverse situations, how will you cope when they happen? What if an opponent makes bad calls or if there's a sudden change in playing conditions, such as gusting wind? or if your opponent completely changes their game plan in the middle of a match. 
Tennis matches are often won by the player who responds best to adverse situations. Uh, this is actually not a, a perfect example, but um, but that's a really short one there. But anyways, uh, let's say let's, let's let's say we're gonna listen to this one real quick. Today, we're gonna talk about effort and outcomes. Throughout the course of a tennis match, your expectations will change as you face critical points and difficult situations. There are many situations where a challenging moment can suddenly shift your mindset, like when you make an unforced error while trying to close out the match, or when your opponent makes a bad call against you. Whatever the situation might be, a great tennis player must always be aware of these shifts in their mindset and redirect their focus back to the present moment. If you fail to recognize the shift in your expectations and don't redirect your focus, the risk is that your performance level will suffer and you will make meaningless mistakes. It's not always easy to be aware when negative expectations creep in, but it's a crucial skill for maintaining positive momentum. Our thoughts tend to jump from place to place. It's a natural and normal process of the human mind. However, to be exceptional tennis players, we must have great self-awareness. So when these unnecessary and negative thoughts enter our minds, we quickly redirect our focus by making a strong commitment to our present tasks. So you can, you can listen to it like this, or you can do a full visualization, which is much longer. It's like, uh, you know, it's uh, like seven, you know, six, seven minutes long visualization. So that what okay. you just listened to, that whole concept is explained and guided in a way that you're visualizing. You understand the concept and you do the centering exercises to like close your eyes and and then take a deep breath and center yourself. And then it'll, it'll tell you the scenarios of like, you're playing oh, yeah. the match and you're thinking about the outcome and it will guide you to redirect your focus to the present task. And right. it's a, just the exercises that are designed to- For different you know, skills. Or yes, exactly. Skills. Yeah, yeah. The I, confidence, I, I, adver yeah. adversity, dealing with the off days, you know, when they're off. Um, you know, just between point routine, which is you know big Dr. Lair's the six and seven cure that between point routine. Uh, um, yeah, just so many great stuff here. Um, and then there's also like, you know, video, um, audio course. You know, that you can you can read, and if you click this, it will take you to YouTube. Shopify helps you sell at every stage of your business, like that. Let's put it online and see what happens. Stage. In the, in the clutch moments, you know, at the end of the game. You... Interesting. Or in the whites. Always are just like this. No matter what is happening, you, you always perform under pressure and you never seem rattled. So, you know, it's, we find this like a really interesting articles and, and the interviews, and then we will summarize them in a form that it's super easy to consume. I see. Um, like Novak and all these like different things. And then we also offer these book summaries of you know, like famous uh, sports psych books, and then okay. you'll summarize them in okay. a way that they, the, the the athletes can just listen to it. Like it's you know, yeah, nine, well, is the most ten minutes. When you guys think that is the most important lesson, I guess. In exactly. The, yeah. In the, I see. And also, Brian, who who is using this? Who is using? I mean, what is the level of of player or athlete that is using the the, the yeah. So we have a big range of players. We have players that are using, you know, professional level. So, um, you know, we have a few players that I consult, uh, like August Hongrens. He's he was number one in NCAA's. Okay. Uh, you know, he lost to Ben Shelton. Okay. Uh, last year played for San Diego, and he's ranked currently uh, 290, 280 around there right now, and. Yeah, he's been using our app, our app for a long time, and you know he benefited a lot from it. And I do like private consultation with him, and oh, a few so other, you, you know. What's that? So you are you are a sports psychologist. You are... yeah, I cannot call myself sports psychologist. If I was in Europe, I could, but you know, because in in, in US you have to have a PhD. I have a master's degree in sports psych. Okay. So, yeah, there you know, like uh, Ika Swantex, I see. Uh, sports psychologist. Daria Avramovic, uh, she has a master's degree in sports psychology. 
but she can call herself as a sports psychologist in Europe because in Europe, yeah, you, know, you can have yeah. a certification or you could have master's degree and call yourself a sports psychologist. But you in US, you cannot, you know. You cannot. So, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, but I do, I do, you know, I, I consult a few colleges as well. Like I work with a, you know, BYU uh, and a, a Georgia Tech women's team. Okay. Yeah, in the past okay. I worked with other other teams as well. Um, okay, I I, yeah. see. I see. So and and just to kind of what is like the main things that the, that the people or the players or athletes they notice difference. How how do they use it? How do they notice the difference? How you track your progress or what? Or is more of a I'm feeling good about this. How how do you know if you if this is helping you? I mean, I'm just asking you because you know. The, the, let's say I, I I said to parents, I said, listen, you're gonna, you should use this, you know, and they ask me, okay, but how, how does it really, how can you tell if things are better, whatever you're working on, do they have yeah. any way to track improvement? Yes. So, uh, yeah, we have done um, the beta testing with a group of a hundred players, and and we. After three months, we have measured the you know, pre and post uh, UTR rating, and they were all playing tournaments. Okay. And and we have like ninety eight percent of the players improved. Oh, oh, okay. So the players who you know used to have at least four days a week or more, they all improved. Um, and it's a, you know, it, it's like a, you know, it's a just a. Is it what you know? Simple. It's it's just a simple logic, right? You know, when you, um, you know, expand your knowledge about how to embrace challenges, adversity, how to become more confident, and and you this do this visualization exercises to strengthen your neural pathways, and you know the study shows that you do improve when you do that. Uh, there's just you know hundreds of studies out there that validates that point. Yeah, and our app is just put together those exercises for them to do because it's, you know, um, the mental skills is something that um, it's tough to teach because you cannot, you can tell them about how to think, but if they don't engage in regular exercises, it's yeah. very hard to change. And it takes a very long time for yeah, somebody that, to mature. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I was, uh, I was I'm asking you, do you know, like, so and so the people or the kids they should be doing the exercises. How 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 much a day they should invest on that? I'm just giving you the questions that the the, the parents will ask me. You know, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they should they should invest uh, like 10, 15 minutes a day 10, to do these exercises. Today. Yeah, and then we also have like a match uh, preparation exercises as well. So like, you know, playing as a weaker opponent. Playing doubles, um, unknown opponent, you know, dealing with uh, some of the tough playing conditions. So they can listen to some of these exercises before they play match. Um, yeah, so, and then we have like a self-reflection journal as well, like okay, reflecting there, they're reflecting what went well, what could they run, and based on what they write, we give them a like, AI recommendation. Like for example, let's say I. Let's say I, I'm going to say I did something well, but then the question I'm going to answer the question: What can I? What have you learned? Uh, I need see. To do need to do a better job on adjusting to playing in a tough condition. On this, yeah, yeah. Let's see what we get. You know. Okay. See, oh, and they, they suggest you. Okay, this is what yeah. you. Want. Okay. Yes, it's giving me dealing with it like a uh, tough playing condition, like no back, uh, the visualization stuff. Yeah, I see. I can decide to consume every one of these concept content, or I can just consume one of them. I and see, then, and then be done. You know. I see. I see. So it, it's basically. The kid or or the player is managing his own thing basically. Whatever yes. he, he kind of feeling that it is it's not it's not really working, 
you kind of picked on that and you just kind of do the exercises and now the exercises you you do the same exercise let's say you know you, you put that in managing the expectation the exercises are four or five exercises that you have to do pretty much the same exercise for the year or they keep being updated yeah yeah we'll, we'll keep updating new content um, oh but but basically yeah. It, it, it's just there it's one level exercise basically you do it and boom and it, and if you need to you do the same level exercise constantly okay yes yes you can i mean you know like uh mental skills is like just building physical skills right so you have to continuously you know work on uh the skill so you may do Let's say you struggle with the managing expectations because you set like wrong expectations and all that. There's like a five, six different contents on that managing expectation. So you okay. may listen to that multiple times yeah. to kind of improve that. And then you're you're good at it and you're fine with expectation. And then later on, you struggle with the dealing with adversity. So you focus on that. And then later on, like a six months later, you find yourself struggling with the managing expectation again. You know how the kids are. They go, yeah, yeah. 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 Their yeah. needs are always changing, right? So Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Thanks, right, Javier. Man. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, okay. hope you feel yeah. better. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. All right. Bye bye. Bye.